Barclay. How oh, good to see you. How oh, kind of you to decorate our altar with such beautiful flowers. It's a pleasure. But please, don't let me interrupt your work. Oh, no, no, no. Believe me, it's a welcome interruption. It's only 20 feet up from the cellar, but carrying 50 pounds of plaster makes it seem like 40. Of late, I've been patching more walls than souls, I'm afraid. How's your family? Fine. How are your children? Wonderful. I have 22 now. They're planning a big Thanksgiving dinner. It'll be a happy occasion at the orphanage. Well, uh, perhaps this will make it even happier. Bless you. I wish my own parishioners would drop by as often as you do, and as generously. Well, if you'll excuse me, I have to get on with my work. <coughs> Mrs. Bogley. What is it, Mr. Taylor? Well, uh, yesterday Nick fired me. You were warned about your drinking. Well, there's nothing wrong with a nip now and then. Not on the job, not when it interferes with your duties. I'm sorry, Mr. Tate. Well, no, Mrs. Barkley, you, uh, you could change Nick's mind. My sons run the ranch. And your condition appears even wetter today than it was yesterday. Big people, you Barclays.
these out here together. I don't relish this any more than you do, Mr. Day. Bring the light over here. This is where the steps were. What steps? Well, this must be the cellar. We're buried alive. But still alive. Oh. Kerosene lamp. We're in luck. Victoria Barkley, this is Mr. Tate. You're from the Modoc tribe, aren't you? Yes. Well, you know, we're buried down here and there's no way out. Thank you, Mike. Stay out of the house and keep everybody out in the open. We'll be back as soon as we find Mother. I'll go with you. No, no, Heath, you stay here and take charge. She was going to visit Father Nichols. Try the church first. Right. Yeah, come on. Yeah. If in our present situation is medicinal, more would be hazardous. All right. All right, what now, Your Highness? Well, we can sit tight and hope we'll be dug out, but first we would have to be missed, then located, and and it could be too late. I prefer we try to... Wait a minute. I'm trying to remember something. Well, you go right ahead and remember. We got what's left of a lifetime. My husband was once owner of a gold mine. This cellar was part of it. Therefore, there must be tunnels. Above the ground and below it. The Barclays are everywhere. We'll search the walls. I'll go right ahead. I don't even know your name. Naomi. Naomi. We'll each take a wall. But we've got to try. Naomi. You don't want your baby to be born down here, do you? Barkley here. Miss Barkley? She came to see you. Oh, yes, yes. She, uh, she brought flowers and a contribution. She get out in time? It, it all happened so fast. I, I didn't see anything. There were four or five people. I, I searched, but I, I didn't find anyone. Audrey, what you're trying to say is you think everybody got out all right. 
Yes, yeah, I am sure they did. Uh, Padre. I heard you say everybody, everyone got out. Do you know that for certain? Well, there, there were three people in the pews, and, and Mrs. Barkley. Oh, yes, a young Modoc woman, an expectant mother. You didn't see what happened to her? No, no, I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't. Please excuse me, I, I must get to the orphanage. that door lead to? It used to be the cellar. It's all blocked up. Well, maybe we could use a beam. There's no room for a beam. This barrel's in the way. Oh. Then we'll push the barrel. Push the barrel? That's a waste of energy. Look at the size of this. Uh. I'll say one thing to you, lady. Uh. You're long on nerve. Uh. Not together. I'll say one thing for you. You can be helpful when you want to be. We need more bandages. I'll get someone on it right away. Harry! The church in the east end of town are the worst hit. Are there any more injured out there? No, we brought in everybody we could find. If anybody's buried in We'll dig for bodies later. Go see if you can find Harry. Right. Fred. Fred, have you seen my mother? Everybody's looking for everyone else, but don't worry, Jared. I'm clearing the town and sending everyone out to the flat. She may be there. That's right. Uh... Hold it. Raise your right hand. What? You two, Nick. Come on, get him up. No. Snyder, come on. We've got no time to waste. I need deputies. Get over here. Get your right hand up. You solemnly swear to uphold all tasks and duties as directed to you to the best of your ability without reservations. Fine, you're all deputized. Now, you've got two immediate jobs. Patrol the town and keep looters out. Fred, bandages! I know, doctor. Snyder, you think you can dig up some sheets in that store of yours? We need bandages badly. Of course, Fred, now listen to me. I know, you want to find your mother, go on out to the flats and get back in a hurry. Uh, you see any looters, you've got orders to shoot them on the spot. Right. Oh, my God. 
come. We may have found the way out. Leave me here. No. Leave me here. Let me stay here and die. Let no, 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 no. Let, let, let me. Oh, I'm getting out. Now, come on. Come on, come on. Let's go. Uh, house is buckled, but no one is hurt. We'll all sleep out, I guess. I guess so. The air shakes, but the sun still shines. How Andre, much... this waiting. Heath, I'm going to town to look for Mother. I'm going with you. The ranch won't disappear. ourselves much that day at end. Oh, we may have missed eternal. We'll go back. I do not wish to go back. Omi, we are all getting out. Now think of the baby and of your husband. I have no husband. Well, I knew there was a good chance she wasn't married. Hey, for a smart girl, you haven't been around very much. I've been around enough to meet too many people like you, Mr. Tate. Now, we've got to keep moving until we find a way out. You're very nice, Mrs. Barkley, but it's too late for me. Would you leave, Mr. Tate? Suppose I don't want to lead. You don't have to lead. You don't have to go at all. Oh, I'll go. I like taking orders from a Barkley. If it wasn't for your son, Nick, I wouldn't be here in the first place. So you say, please. Please. Excuse me, I'm looking for my husband, Roy Snyder. Oh, yes, right over there, Mr. Snyder. Are you all right? I'm fine. I was worried about you. Oh, I'm fine. I'm... What happened to the store? You know, the sign fell and the windows are broken out, but otherwise nothing was damaged. Well, why don't you go back home and rest? Oh, I, I couldn't rest with all this going on. Perhaps I can help with the injured. And please? Roll bandages, carry water, something. Anything? All right. Come on. Help me. Any sign? Not yet. You two were supposed to stay back at the ranch in case you showed up there. I can ride back later. Wasn't she at the church? No. Uh, Padre says he's pretty sure everybody got out in time. Are we just going to stand here and do nothing? Take it easy, Ari. Let's go and see if Fred's heard anything. You Don't just take it easy. We'll Doc will be right with you. Is that hurt? Any luck? No. No. No, we were hoping maybe. Well, she's not here. What are we going to do? Wait? Wait for what? Take it easy, Audra. I'm going to the church. Audra. Let go of me. Audra, it's dangerous there. Let go of me. I don't care. Audra, we got orders to stay here. I don't care about any orders. I care about Mother. Do something. Do something. <laughs> take it easy, sis. <laughs> Sheriff, I caught this man looting. All right, open it up. I, I didn't mean to, Sheriff. I, uh, I found these in the street, and I, uh, yeah, I found them. Come on, empty out your pockets. Yes, sir. And uh, I found this, and found that, and uh, I meant to bring them in. And found, found that, too. Come on, let's have all of it. All of it. That purse! The 
This is Mother's. Are you sure? I gave it to her myself on her birthday. Don't you remember? I didn't open it. I didn't touch it. Where'd you get that purse? Well, you see, there it was. Tell me or so help me. I'll kill you right on the spot. Inside the church. Inside. Inside? Inside. Then that means she never got out of the church. Let's go. Wait a minute. What do you mean, wait a minute? I can't let you go inside that church. One good shake, you could all get buried alive. Look, Sheriff. Heath, I can't be making any exceptions. That's right, we can't break the rules ourselves. We'll handle this. Fred, we'll take the responsibility for our own lives. We've got to go there. Joe, how bad is that church? Well, it's about the worst. A good part of the ceiling and the altar. Caved into the cellar. If anybody's under there, why? Is there, a, is there a staircase that goes down to the cellar? Yeah, it's blocked tight and filled up. We could use explosives. No. A blast and all the rest of the good walls that come tumbling down. Then we can dig. Let's go. Audra. I can't let you go with him. He's right. Honey. You can't help us there, but you can help here. We'll let you know. I'd like to come along and help. Come on, we can use the muscle. This air don't smell so good. Or well, maybe it's because there's less of it. Naomi. I do not want the baby. Listen to me. I do not want it. I do not want it. I want to die. Want it or not, looks like we're going to have company. Yeah. That's all we need is a squalum brat. Mr. Tate, it's difficult enough. Oh, stop feeling sorry for yourself. We're still alive. And as long as we keep moving, there's hope. There is no hope. Hope has brought me to this. There is no hope. We'll get you out, and you can go back to your people. They do not want me. It is a white man's baby. Nor does he want me. The baby will be taken care of. To be raised and educated in a white man's school? Like I was taught? But I've learned something that isn't in your books. You teach one way, but live another. Does he know about the child? He does not want to have anything to do with it. He said he would meet me at the church to talk it over. He never came. He can be forced to accept his responsibility. I do not want him. I do not want him. He never told me he was married. I do not want him. I want to die. Oh, a married man. What's the name of that fellow that runs a general store and trades with the Modocs? Ah, yes, yes, I remember now. I remember hearing about those stories of him and his midnight visits to the reservation. That the man? Get up, Naomi. Thank you, Mr. Tate. You do have a spark of decency. Uh, you bring out the best in me. And saving her isn't going to make any difference. She lost her candle back there. Come on. There's not much left of mine. And when your lamp is gone, we'll all be goners. Tracings in it. Was there ever a mine here? Yeah, this church was built over an old shaft after it was worked out. Yeah, family had an interest in it. 
Well, you remember where the openings are? No, it's over 20 years ago. I don't remember much about it. Well, there must be deeds, records, or something. And they would show the openings. Where would they be? Well, they'd, they'd be down at the recorder's office. I'll go there. What was the name of the mine? The Victoria. You'll need help. Come on. Should have left her back there. She needed a few minutes rest. How many more tunnels are there? I don't know. Well, that's refreshing. Her Highness don't know. You should have thought to bring some more candles and an extra supply of kerosene for the lamp. And I should have packed a picnic lunch. You're very tiring, Mr. Tate. Yeah. Well, I'm not the drag she is. Yeah. You too good to drink with me? Yeah. There, you might be queen of the valley, but down here, you're nothing. You're no better than I am. If I could drink out of this bottle, so can you. Now, here, drink it. Of course, Mr. T. Of course. Listen, mister. I've broken trails, hunted and ridden shotgun with my husband. I've kicked, clawed and gouged my way with him. Don't you ever dare touch me again. And one thing more. From now on, I don't care whether you live or die. Just don't interfere. Okay, so I didn't mean anything. It's no use. Well, keep looking. Snyder, is the land office building still standing? I don't know. Why? There'd be records there. Well, why don't I go check? We'll save time that way. Hey, hurry. Go back to work. You take a couple of minutes rest, huh?
I, uh... I dropped the match. Dropped it? You lit it. Well, there's... There's nothing here. They're... They're worthless. And burned the whole building down to prove it? Why? Why? You don't really know that your mother is buried underneath the church? And you don't know that she isn't. Or what do you know? Hey, go! There's an Indian girl. She, she, she was waiting at the church. She, she, she came into town to Black Bay. She said that I was the father of her child. I, I couldn't have her waiting in the store. I, I told her to, to wait for me at the church. You know how it is. You, you know how it is. Who, who, who knows who a kid like that would believe? You're talking to a kid like that. <laughs> to keep your secret, you'd let people die. Naomi. Please. I can't go on. Oh, pain. It's oh. all yours. We ain't never gonna find our way out of here. Didn't think I'd end up this way, not this saddle bum. All my life I've been looking for something. And all I find is tough luck. Nothing ever works. Somewhere, somehow, I thought sure I'd latch onto something. Just one piece of luck. And old Tate, he'd be right up there. Hope springs eternal, Mr. Tate. Well, not right now, it doesn't. You got any more bright ideas? Well, um... Why don't you take that tunnel, and I'll take the other tunnel, and we'll go in about 50 feet, and then meet back here and decide which one to take. There must be an opening somewhere. 50 feet. Yeah. All right. We'll be back, Naomi. Wait a minute. What is it now, Mr. Tate? Why should you take this tunnel and me that one? It doesn't make any difference which tunnel, as long as both are searched. All right, then I'll take your tunnel. Oh, for heaven's sake, it's not my tunnel. Fine, then it's mine. I'll take this tunnel, you take that one! Oh. Snyder, violating your oath, destroying public property. How could you? With my mother down there. I don't know what's gotten into your husband, Mrs. Snyder, but I'm short-handed now. And I'm putting him in your custody until this emergency is over. I'm going to the church. All right. Roy. 
want you to tell me everything. I told you. I was, I was out of my head. I, I was wrong. I'm sorry. There's more, isn't there? I, I told you. I've just got to face up to what I've done. You haven't told why you want to destroy those records. Why you kill any chance of saving Mrs. Barclay. Roy, it doesn't make sense. Oh, Anne, Anne, I'm so sorry. So am I. But for another reason. That time you went to San Francisco, I forgave you for that dance hall girl. I thought there were other women, but I couldn't be sure. Those trips to Sacramento. Oh, Anne, Your please. repeated visits to the Modocs. The Padre said there were several people in the church, including an Indian girl. Oh, really, Anne? If she was there with Mrs. Barclay, then that's why... Really, Anne, not here. Please, not here. Here and now. Mother's been down there for hours. There's got to be a faster way. Well, there isn't. Trying to reach that old wine cellar was a long shot. Searching for that mine deed was a long shot. And right now, it's a long shot that we'll ever... Wait a minute. Now, every mining operation I was in had more than one opening. There was always an opening for escape. I mean, it's out there somewhere. How long were the tunnels? A uh, hundred yards, a mile? I don't know. All right, it was 20 years ago. Now, there's, there's bound to be people around that were living then. Joel? You were around when my father worked that old mine. I wouldn't, I wouldn't even remember that. I wouldn't know where to begin to look. All right, but there still must be some old timers around who would. Well, there's old Gus. Uh, no, he, he died last year. The, uh, Hank Withers, he moved to Laredo. You just have to find some about old... Jeff Wilson. Now he's still out at the ranch. Of course, now Jeff. Jeff was on there. Keith, you ought to try to find him. Go on. <laughs> We have a, we have a big house in the old mate. A fine ranch. We'll take care of you and the baby. Please go without me. Please, please go without me. It's strange. I went to the church because because of the orphans fund and I'm... One more tunnel, Naomi. We, we'll try one more tunnel and then... Oh, I can't. I can't. Well, you rest, child. You rest. Long ago. It's been over 20 years since the mine was worked. Think, Jeb, there must be an opening somewhere. Doesn't anybody know? Uh, seems to me, finished mining, we closed it up. All the openings? I think there was one of the openings in. Little canyon. We've got to find it. I, I said was. Likely it's all grown over. Never find it now. You'll find it. Get on your horse. I, I, I don't hardly remember. The ride will jog your memory. You, ride into town, tell my brother to bring dynamite, picks, and shovels and meet us at Little Canyon.
We call those trees. Well, is it or isn't it, Jeb? Let me think. The sun sets in the west, and the opening faces out to it this time of day, I think. But the hill's all covered over. Well, around here someplace. Wait a minute. Here's some timber. This is a shaft. Naomi, Naomi. Hey. I hear sounds, Naomi. Maybe help is coming. Hold on just a bit. Just a bit long, longer. I'll get the dynamite. Got set? Yeah. Audrey, you and Jeb get out of here.
Audrey. Audrey? You want this child? Please. I'll try to be a good mother. He was born in darkness. That darkness has been lifted. Ready to go home? Uh-huh. Mother, you're going to be pampered for a whole week. Anything you want, you can have. <laughs> well, all I want right now is a good, warm bath. I'll drive.